So now in this video we used an op amp to make an A-stable multi-vibrator circuit. The output just keeps going high and low as long as we have power applied. We're using 5 volts there, that's powering the op amp, although I didn't add that to the schematic diagram, but you don't always see that on schematic diagrams. Um, we have it powered. When the output's high, it's as close to 5 volts as the output can go. And uh, when the output is low, blue LED, it's as close to ground as it can go. So now the op amp that we're using is the LM358. There's two of them on uh, the integrated circuit. So I got uh, one out of two, we're only using one of them. And of course being an op amp, the output is determined by the input voltages. And this is going to either be high or low. And so we have at the non-inverting input there, the plus, that's gonna be our reference uh, voltage. The output's going to be more like this reference voltage. So we have a couple resistors here that uh, they try to set it to half of the supply voltage. But we also have the positive feedback right there. So when the output is high, it lifts up that voltage a little bit. And then when the output is low, it pulls that voltage down a little bit. So it's a moving reference voltage. So at the same time we have a capacitor. So let's say the output's high, it bumps up the voltage here a bit, and the capacitor starts charging right there. Its voltage goes up. Once it gets as high as the voltage we set here, then the output uh, goes low, pulling this voltage down. So it's also low, so it starts discharging the capacitor. The capacitor keeps discharging till it drops down to the reference voltage. So now for demonstration purposes, so we can see the high and low, we have a red and a blue LED. So they draw current, the op amp output is uh, limited in how much power it can provide. So I used a bit higher resistor here so we don't draw as much current with the red LED. Keep the demands of the output uh, uh, low as we can for the most part. So we have uh, the red LED, that's gonna light up when the output is high. So it's not gonna get to five volts when it outputs, probably about three and a half or so, but it's enough to light a red LED and uh, the resistor there. Again, that high output uh, raises the reference voltage and the capacitor charges up, starts uh, filling up. Once the capacitor gets high enough, then the output goes low. So that's when the blue LED lights up, the output basically connects to ground. It does a pretty good job at that. That's why it's a single supply op amp. So blue LED lights up. This voltage also dips, as I said before, at that time. And uh, the capacitor starts uh, discharging. Current starts going to ground. Again, until the voltage drops lower than the reference voltage. The output is always more like the reference voltage. When the capacitor drops lower, that means the reference voltage is higher, so the output goes high. That raises the capacitor. Once the capacitor gets higher, that means the reference voltage is lower, and thus the output goes low, connects to ground. So now the exact value resistors aren't terribly important. These should be equal value to give you that halfway uh, starting point. Remember this does throw it off. Um, if we go quite a bit higher in value here, it's not going to shift that voltage up and down very much as the output goes high and low. And uh, if we use a much lower value resistor, it's going to change uh, quite a bit uh, more. And so you can adjust that a little bit, but uh, mostly you adjust the timing with the resistor and the capacitor value. So the larger value for both of these, either one of these will take longer and the smaller values will go even uh, quicker. So we have here a relatively high uh, resistance and a somewhat low capacitance right there but you can adjust their values to adjust the timing so now we will take a closer look at the actual circuit so that's 10 microfarad right there going to the inverting input and then we have our uh, negative feedback because it's going to the inverting input 100,000 ohm resistor hopefully you can see that here we have a jumper to the non-inverting input the plus right there there's our uh, voltage divider two equal value resistors two 10k resistors and then we have our positive feedback because it's the plus uh, input, the non-inverting input. So the output is the top left there. So that's the number one op amp. This op amp has the same pin layout as that one. It's just moved over and it's uh, down just one spot uh, right there. We're not using it, uh, we're just leaving it floating. That should be okay. And then our output is at the top there. So we have the blue LED. Again, it's coming the long lead, the anode from the positive supply. Short lead, the cathode comes to the output. So it lights up when the output goes low. You can see that current path right there. Whereas we have the uh, red LED. So 
that uh, lights up when the output's high. So it's close to 5 volts, probably 3.5 um, will come uh, through there when the red LED is lit up. And then it comes to the 470 ohm resistor. And I put the anode, the longer lead, up on top so the resistor comes above it down uh, one row hopefully you can see that there we have a gray jumper there that goes to the negative supply and uh, I didn't unwire anything and so it should work now and it's going to take a little bit longer for the capacitor to charge because it was discharged um, so the red LED will stay lit a little bit longer at first but now it looks like they are uh, alternating at uh, relatively close to the same speed 